And we're here. Good morning, everybody. Oh man, my camera is very low. Oh well, that's fine. Good morning, everybody. Don't wanna hear that girl. Get off of my video, girl. Okay, dokies, we are ready to rock and roll. How's everybody doing today? It is Tuesday and sad things happened overnight. I don't even want to talk about them, but so sorry for everybody in Baltimore. Just so sad. How come I can't see comments, but there they are. Hi, Johanna and Ruthann and Letizia, Ellen, Rebecca, Palma, Jackie, Mina, Denise, Cindy, Chris, Jackie, CJ, Cheryl. Cheryl, I hope you go by Cheryl because I made your name tag already and it says Cheryl. Hi, Shirley, Ellen, Joy, welcome you guys. I think we're just going to doodle freely today because it's just so sad to hear about the bridge in Baltimore and I'm trying to be just okay, but I'm not okay. I mean, how do you be okay? So, yes, StreamYard is still working. I think that was a hoax. You know those Facebook hoaxes? I don't know. But maybe. Hi, Kylene. Okay, so this is me, and this is my website. And if you're looking for classes, collage elements, books, whatever, it's here on the website. So bookmark this page for creatorofcuteness.com, and that's where you can um, find it, all the information about me, and buy stuff, and get free stuff. There's a whole freebies page. Did you know that? Okay. So yesterday was waffle day. Let's use orange. Waffle day. And today is purple day. Aloha, Debbie. Are you in Hawaii? Hi, Bev. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lana. I missed a bunch of you guys. Today's purple day, so we're going to play with purple, I think. I wonder if there's a good purple quote. Let's look as we're talking here. So April is what's next. And um, purple quotes. Nothing gets between me and my purple. <laughs> That's a funny quote. Today, my favorite color is purple. Believe in purple. Believe in purple. Those are weird purple quotes. You got this. Purple is just awesome. Not very many good purple quotes. Okay. Yeah, Renata, we heard about Maryland. I, I don't know where everybody lives, so I don't always remember, but I hope um, that everybody is okay. The April prompts are not posted, but I will make myself a note to post them. I have so much to do today. Post April prompts. Okay, I wrote it down, so that makes it happen. A cute book, Harold and the Purple Crayon. That is a cute book. B says, today is Ep Epilepsy Awareness Month, and purple is the color for epilepsy. It's also the color for um, pancreatic cancer. My friend Karen's husband has pancreatic cancer. Says, you are not alone. Together we fight. So maybe we'll have to put a purple ribbon on the page. That would be a good idea. 
Oh, okay. Rebecca, you can post the prompts. Do you know how to put them in the files? Go right ahead. So this is for April. And um, I'm pretty sure that this week, Lindsay week, we're going to make a mini book. And then we'll do cards the rest of the month. But I'm not 100% sure. But that's the plan. Nice Charlie in now. Um, this uh, Rebecca created these prompts for us for Happy Mail for National Letter Writing Month. So that's a cool idea. Um, did Debbie just say, let's draw a seizure? What does that mean? Oh, for epilepsy? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> let's draw a ribbon instead and not a seizure. <laughs> yeah, I have been wanting to make a book like this big, like two by two. So I think I'm going to make a little mini book and we'll do some pages in it. Um, hearts, happy camper, sunshine girl, rainbows, Lindsay flowers, birthday. Well, birthday, we should make a card for because we always need birthday cards. So, yeah. You guys didn't hear what happened in Maryland. I don't really want to talk about it, but apparently from what the Today Show said, that a barge carrying container cars lost power and they couldn't steer, they couldn't stop, they couldn't drop anchor and they hit the bridge. But apparently there weren't very many cars, if any cars. Sadly, it was mainly construction workers that were on the bridge and that just breaks my heart because these guys and girls work in the middle of the night to fix the potholes and just so sad. Anyway. That's what happened in Maryland. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. When I am an old woman, I shall wear purple. Oh, that is a great quote. Who got that? Who said that? Poma? When I am an old woman, I shall wear purple. I love that. That could be perfect. Okay, so journal play day is coming up on April 6th, which is not this weekend because this weekend is Easter. Last weekend was Palm Sunday and Purim. I don't know when Passover is. That's what a good Jew I am. I don't know. But Passover is coming. So anyway, um, this weekend for sure is Easter. And next week we'll begin a journal play day the 13th quarter. On April 6th, May 4th, and June 1st, if you sign up now, you get all three months. And if you sign up tomorrow, you get all three months. But anyway, it's $25 for the three months. And the way you get, oh, thank you, Rebecca. I can cross that off my list now. Um, always get to make a new signature journal every month. You get one to three pieces of art monthly. Sometimes you get more than that. There's a uh, new journal blocks each month. And there's always loads of creative inspiration. So we just are coming down off of March. And this is what April will bring us. Bring the camera up a little bit. You get the butterflies and borders. And this artwork that is my black and white line artwork, like this stuff, it always comes in black and white and in color. So if you don't want to use these colors, let's say you want to use royal blue and red or something, you can always change the colors. This one as well comes in black and white and in color. This is the um, journaling blocks that you can use to get uh, some journaling into your journal. These do not come in black and white. They only come in color because they're watercolor. So there's this background. There's this background. And this background. So there you have that. Palma says the purple quote I posted is by Sandra Mar Mars Martz. When I am an old woman, I shall wear purple, that quote. And I really have not been very good about shamelessly plugging the book club. There we go. So the book club, we already had March for book club. So the next one is on April 19th. 
the way the book club works for those of you guys that are new to this group is it's a creative book club where you don't have to buy the book. I have already purchased it and I have two books ready to go. This one and the one for June, April, May. <laughs> I have the one for May. I've already purchased the book. And what we do is we choose a book each month. This is the one we're going to use for April. Um, it's the Jane Davenport Beautiful Faces book. And what I do is I read the book for you. And then we work in the book. We either do whatever tutorial is in the book, a project from the book, something inspired by the book. But we use the book as our guide. And then I review the book during the book club and tell you guys whether or not you should buy it. <clears throat> Some books are out of print. This one, I don't think it is. I think you can still purchase it. <clears throat> but the way this works is you get four meetings for $30. That works out to $7.50 per meeting. We have a monthly Facebook group where we meet and have book club. You guys have to provide your own snacks because... There is no virtual reality snacks yet. So you would provide your own drinks, your own snacks, have them at your table. We just work on stuff. I give you a little list, usually a week before. Uh, for this one, I, I haven't even looked yet at what the supplies are that we're going to need. But that's the book club. That's the idea for book club. So the April prompts have been posted. Rebecca just posted them for us. Thank you, Rebecca, for doing the April prompts, and thank you for posting them. So that's awesome. But I think maybe we might try to do is maybe we'll try to do the mini book and the card, and maybe I can use all of these in my mini book and a card. Is that too much for one hour? I don't know. We'll see. All right. So I just want to play today. And that's the plan. So let's start by taking my gloober off. I'm using my large bottle because my other bottle is almost out of ink of, of glue. But I just want to put some bunnies down on the page. And sadly, they're going to get cut. You know? So you guys do whatever you want for purple. I'll do whatever I want for purple. And we will meet in the middle. So it, is anybody here, does anybody here live in Baltimore? And do you have to drive on that bridge? My little, um, I don't even know what she would be. Cousin, something, niece, I don't know. She's my stepmother's niece. So I don't know what she is to us, but she's a well-loved part of our family. She lives and works in Baltimore. And I haven't been able to reach her yet this morning, so. Scary. That's the only person I can think of that I know in Baltimore, but there could be more. To me, this morning is a little bit like um, the World Trade Center morning. I got to put wood on my fire. Hang on. Charlie, stop. Sorry, I had to put wood on the fire. Ugh. Terry says, I purchased some chunky glitter yesterday. It's so much fun. I've never, ever liked chunky glitter. I don't know what got into me, but I really like it right now. It's pretty fun, right? And I think I'm going to really like it for the centers of flowers. I think that's my main plan. These poor bunnies are just getting chopped. Some of these guys need more glue. 
It's not easy using this giant bottle of glue. Because a lot comes out at one time. This ear did not get glued down. These bunnies, for those of you guys that are new here, these are my collage elements. So you buy them for five bucks and then you can print them out as many times as you like and use them over and over again. You get them in the black and white and in the color. So you can color them yourself or you can use the ones that I've colored. Or you can draw your own bunnies. Or you don't have to do bunnies at all. All you have to do is something purple. I mean, you don't even have to do that. Those are our prompts for those of you that are new. And there's a lot of new people because I entered you yesterday. Um, we give ourselves these prompts, which are done by some of the people in the group here. Every year we choose new people to create our prompts. And um, that helps us have a starting point for our lettering and doodling. And this month we decided to work in a composition book, but we don't have to. You can do really whatever you want here. Where's the top of the book? I think I need one more bunny. I don't know where, but I need a purple one. Oh, he's purple. He's purple. Oh my gosh, is he so cute. Arlene's so excited that it's purple day. How many of you hate purple? How many of you love purple? I think purple is one of those colors where you either love it or hate it. I love it. I love purple. Um teal or aqua and lime green together those are those are my colors love them i'm going to toss the bottoms of the bunnies i don't really need those cj loves purple all right so i think we have glued down enough junk and stuff to play with in our book. Johanna loves periwinkle. Jackie says, not my favorite to wear, me either, but I will paint with it. Renata loves purple. Denise says, how can you hate purple? Debbie says, bottoms up. Oh, that must be these. These? It would make a funny card, right? With just the bottoms. Maybe I should save these. Would be pretty funny. Just the bottoms. I am saving them now. Pat says, not a purple fan. Shirley says, looking for my bag of bunnies. I love purple and green combos with blue. Me too. Those are my colors. Um, I don't know what I still want to do. That's why I've kind of been just... Let's do the when I am an old woman, I think. When... I am an old, when I am an old woman, I think I can get it, I shall wear purple. So let's do it like this. Uh-oh, the dog wants out. I got to put the dog out. Hang on. Get your bunnies on your page. You want to go out, Charlie? You want to go out? Oh. He does not want to go out. Okay. Purple has been my color since I was a little girl, Debbie says. Oh. Let's see if I can get this crooked. Whoa, that's really crooked. There we go. I'm trying to make a decision today whether or not I buy a new fountain pen. I want the one that Carmen told me about that goes on the airplane. 
because I cannot take this one on the airplane. Do I need it? The answer is no, I don't need it. Do I want it? Yes. Is it expensive? Yes. Am I going to fly again? Well, my friend Paula and I are working on a trip to Japan in our minds, but I don't think it'll ever happen. But you know how algorithms work? We started looking at things that were in Japan because there's a six-story stationery store or six-story craft supply store. I don't know which one it is. And once you start looking at those pictures, they start sending you other pictures. There's a whole place where there's a bunny shrine and a bunny island somewhere in Japan. When I... Am. Charlie, sit down or go out. There you go. I'm going big with the O. Anyway, the fountain pen is like $70. I really want it. Really want it. Susie says, you need to buy that pen. Palma says, you can take yours with you on the plane, just not with ink in it. Well, then why do I want to take it? I only want to take it if I could put ink in it. I love to play on the airplane with pens. Because I'll take out my pens and a pad of paper, and then I don't have to talk to the person next to me. I am definitely that person. Do you guys talk to people on airplanes? You don't want to sit next to me if you, if you talk to people on airplanes. Why can't you have ink in it? Because it'll leak everywhere because of the pressure. That much I know. It might even explode. I don't know. But I really do like um, two things about the fountain pens. Um, they make me slow down and they make me not shake as much. My shakiness is not as uh, pronounced, if that makes sense. But I do really like the way they make me slow down. I would show you what I did last night, but it's a surprise for the retreat. So... I cannot, but I, it was all fountain pen work, and it was very fun for me anyway. It's my idea of fun. When I am an old woman, I think we'll put the eye right here. Is it I shall or I will? Let me look it up. When I am an old woman, poem. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to read this. It's so calligraphied. Oh, I can't read it. Too dark. When I am an old woman, I shall wear purple with a red hat which doesn't go and doesn't suit me, and I shall spend my pension on brandy and summer gloves and satin sandals and say, we've no money for butter, 
I shall sit down on the pavement when I am tired and gobble up samples in shops and press alarm bells. That's as much as I'm going to read. Is it an old poem, like really old? I think it's very old, the way it was written. So yesterday I had my oil changed. That's exciting, right? Um, and you wait in line with a million other cars at this place. It's owned by a friend of ours. And, you know, I don't get any special treatment. Um, but it takes forever. They do a really good job. But I sat there for two hours waiting for my car. I got so much done in the way of computer work. <laughs> and they came out. I knew my car hadn't even been brought in yet. It was still waiting for to be put on the bay. But they the guy came out and he said, Lindsay, and there was this other girl next to me. And we both said yes at the same time. And then we looked at each other and said, is your name Lindsay? Right at the same time. So, but she had a Ford Explorer. And then I said, what's your middle name? She goes, A-Y or E-Y? And I said, A-Y. And she goes, me too. And I said, what's your middle name? She said, Elizabeth. And I said, nope, Anne. And that's where it ended. But we were close. There's rarely a time when I sit next to somebody with the same name as me. Um, and like my age, there are lots of younger girls with the name Lindsay because of Lindsay Lohan and Lindsay Wagner. but not my age. This is that new lettering that I love so much, but I don't want to do the whole thing in that lettering. Anyway, it's always fun when you see somebody like that and then you start talking about, did you ever find your name on anything in a store? The answer is no, I did not. And then she said she didn't either. So, you know. I'm trying to vary the thicknesses of all these letters so that they look a little bit different. P's are not my favorite letter to draw at all. P U R P almost spelled it wrong. My favorite L, a nice big cursive L that is thickened up. Uh, let's do any like this. That works. Now is the fun part. We get to doodle and color. But first we must erase. Oh, Palm says, my mistake, Jenny Joseph wrote the purple poem, not Sandra March. She wrote the book with the name. Huh. Well, I don't think I'm going to give them credit in my personal journal anyway. 
Normally I would, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, this bunny has got to have some purple. I've got a light purple and I need a dark purple. I'm trying to figure out how to change the colors on the other bunnies so that they have more purple. I don't know what's gonna happen though when I go over some of the colors. Might be too much. You never know. So the town where I don't live, but I call it my home because I worked in that town for years. Yesterday, there were two dead bodies discovered, which means two killings probably. It's pretty scary. It's right in the shopping area where we all shop. Okay, I'm going to try this. Well, that works okay. Covering the blue with purple. Anyway. Pretty frightening, right by our movie theater. It's a big touristy area and a big family area. scary stuff. Okay, so now she's all purple. Oh no, she needs to get rid of this blue flower. And this blue flower. And I guess those are kind of purple, the pinks. This guy's all purple. This girl is a problem. Not quite sure what to do here, but we'll we'll go in with purple over orange. Ugh. The purple quote was written in 1961 titled Warning. Oh gosh. That's a terrible name. Let's see. I do have this darker color. Let's try this one. Oh, that's working better over the orange. Because I don't want any purple on here. I mean, I don't want any. I don't want any other colors on here. People are asking questions. Thank you, Carmen, for answering them. I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm not catching your comments. I'm busy getting rid of per of other colors. You can always ask a question in this group because everybody you know, like when you're at a class or a scrapbooking convention or something and somebody says, does anybody have a tweezers? And like 30 ladies go in their bag and find a tweezers. Do you know what I mean? That's this group. Everybody wants to be helpful. So if you ever have a question, just ask. It's a helpful group. Okay. Okay. So I have taken out all the remaining colors. Oh, no, I have not. Got to get rid of these ones right here. That's close. Purple didn't cover too good there, but it's covered. I definitely need pink noses. I've been thinking that I would like to dress more like an artist, like more wackadoodle, but that's just not me. Really isn't. 
because I see pictures of other artists and I'm like, man, they're artists. You know what I mean? But I just, every time I go to look at those kind of clothes that are artsy fartsy, I'm like, yeah, that's not really me. Oh, that's brown. That's a pretty purple. <clears throat> Susan says, I am trying to dress artisty too. Your polka dot tights are a good start. Yeah, I do love my polka dot tights. Except my kids thought I was in pajamas. What do they know? They're just dum-dums. Today, I am making two loaves of bread at one time. It's very exciting. We're having a girlfriend's um, day on Friday. And I'm hoping to take a loaf of bread on Friday. This lettering is just so much fun to color in. Oops, well, no more. I don't have a pencil sharpener, hang on. I know, bad idea, putting that through a mechanical pencil sharpener. But I needed this color. It's just so purpley. Okay. <coughs> oh. What else can I talk to you guys about? Oh, somebody told me that hams, or I read it somewhere, ham for Easter was like $40. So I went to the um, inexpensive market down the hill and I bought a ham for $25, I think. And that seemed like a lot of money, but I bought it anyway because I heard they were 40 bucks. So I don't know if I got ripped off or not. But I never go to the market in the middle of the day. And this market was beyond full of humans. So many people. My husband said it's probably because they were buying stuff for Easter dinner. Not me. I went for one item, ham. No, actually, I went for bread flour. And they didn't have any. I've become so bread obsessed. It's all I'm doing is making bread and talking about bread. So much bread in my world. Doing kind of an ombre lettering with three colors of purple here. So it looks like it gets lighter as it gets higher. There's another... Is that burgundy? Red, violet. Let's try this. Not really purple. But it's pretty. Looks good with the purple. Then we have this one, which is called light violet. Let's try that one. Pink. That's pink. Whatever. I do like it. <clears throat> it would make a good highlight for this other colored pencil on the edge here. So let's talk Easter bunnies. Is Veronica here? Are there any kids watching right now? Because I'm not going there if there's children in the room. 
Is Asa watching? I did not erase that line right there. Any children? Any children? Anyone? Speak now or forever hold your peace. So, I keep looking. No? All right, I'm just going for it. So, when my kids were little, the Easter Bunny always left footprints when he came to the house. They were very powdery because he's very light on his feet, you know? You know what I mean? Oh, okay, Veronica, thank you. No, Asa. Um, so the Easter Bunny was always very light on his feet when he would come to our house. And I really want to help Atticus learn about the Easter Bunny. That's how I'm going to put this right now, just in case there's kids here. <clears throat> so I was hoping to help with the Easter Bunny's footprints, if you know what I mean. And I was told, no, they're not going there. They're not doing that. Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy, Santa, Leprechaun Trap. I'm so disappointed. So... No. What do you guys think? Good idea, bad idea, crazy youth. I don't know. I was so looking forward to it. I was going to make a stencil and everything. Debbie says, sometimes it's hard to be a grandma. It is. I don't understand it. Oops, my paper ripped right there. That's weird. Um, Debbie, my son and daughter-in-law went to Minnesota last year to visit a friend, and he sent me a house that's for sale that's like $90,000. I don't know where it is. But it's amazing looking, and he's like, we should all move here. I said, yeah, but it's Minnesota. And then we wouldn't be with our family or friends. What what would we do then? But if they move to Minnesota, I don't know. I'm going to have to think really long and hard about staying here. But I'd have to pick up my mother-in-law and for sure make her move with us. I don't think my daughters would go. But the housing is just so much more affordable there. And my daughter-in-law works remotely, you know? She always has, even before the pandemic. Oh, Linda says, I think it's lovely for children to have the Easter Bunny, Father Christmas Tooth Fairy. Yes, it's called imagination. I agree with you, Linda. I think imagination is beyond important. Like when I read Atticus stories, I do all the voices in the stories. When my husband reads him a story, he's just trying to get through the story, you know? He's not the best out loud reader. But, I mean, that's what imagination is for, right? My kids tell me it's telling a lie. <laughs> <laughs> not not to me it's not Linda says she's what's the matter with kids today Linda I found that book painting happiness we're going to use that um, in two months for our book club I found my book I love this lettering so much I love that it has little nooks and crannies that you can color in Love it. It's kind of like coloring in a puzzle. Only not.
What else can we talk about today? I just don't know. Just so sad about this world. Today. Some days it's too much, you know. I am an old woman named after my mother. Old man was another child that's grown old. Angel from Montgomery, anybody? I do like this bright pink, which is definitely not purple. Jackie says, I have one set of grands that has no imagination. For entertainment, they watch TV. Only read when they have to. Don't play outside. So sad. They are, these are my free-range grands. Huh. That free range word just always really kind of gets me because I think free range is just roaming around and doing whatever, but you mean the parents let them be just on their own to do whatever. No, Atticus loves books. That's not a problem. I missed one. Okay, I'm going to turn on my iron because I'm going to want to paint this background and then go back in and doodle. So hang on. Okay, I got some pur purple here. I got my purple palette out. John Prine is one of the best. Yesterday, somebody posted about Towns of Anzant and... Oh, I loved him. Loved, loved, loved. Okay, my purples are very uh, opaque. So I got to get some purple with water and make it a little bit transparent. You know, lots of water will do that. But it also will make your book pucker. But that's okay. We can iron page. And go purpley blue up here. Add some blue to my purple. Add a little more blue <clears throat> into the purple. So cute. I love the purpley blue color. That's that periwinkle that Johanna and I love so much. That's the new color I want in my watercolor set from Caroline. Caroline? Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> Got to get a little more blue in there. My camera's in the way. I am an old woman named after my mother. Child, let's go. All right. We're almost ready to use the iron. One-eyed, one horn flying purple people eater. One-eyed, one horn flying purple people eater. All right, blow dry. Denise says, what happens if you iron a page with crystals on it? Uh, I put down another sheet of paper on top of the glitter 
I did that yesterday. I re I iron this page. No, where is it? I ironed this page, and all I did was I put a piece of paper down on top, and then ironed it. So I wasn't ironing the glitter. If that's is that what you're asking me? By crystals, you mean glitter? I'm going to the, um, hold on. Okay, so one of my favorite pages that we did earlier this month was the black, this one. I loved how free this was and just kind of doodly-ish, so we're doing that. Oh, except I left my fountain pen open. So now it's kind of dried up fixed. So let's add some swirly bops. Swirly bops and doohickeys. And just play. Because you know why? Because we have imagination. And we can come up with cutesy things that are just fun and doodly-ish. Turn your page a bunch so you don't get these all going in the same direction. That's my uh, big uh, tip for the day. Turn your page. Oh, who said, can you do a flip through of your bunny pages? Well, they're not all bunnies, but here we go. We did, a, uh, no, we did peanut butter. We did a doodle page, elephants and chickies, tulips, a dress, a potted plant, Kite, spaghetti and meatballs, whoops, daffodils, rainbow, no sunshine and apple trees, a Girl Scout, that page, love, pie, storm clouds. Here's a bunny holding a corn dog. You asked. Uh, a fairy girl. Oh, I was going to stitch that. I haven't finished. I guess I got to go downstairs. Um, a happy birthday with a pullout. With a cake. That pulls out of there. Then the laugh page that says laughter is the best medicine. Which goes in there, but it just keeps falling out. This is the bunny page that has loose bunnies and glued in bunnies. Then this is a spring page with another bunny. Then March Madness bunny and a puppy bunny. Oh, I forgot I was going to do this page. Cheapers. That page stuck together a little bit because of the glitter and the glue. That was for night skies. This is for more waffles. And now we're here. Whoever asked, there you go. And there you go. How many times, let's just have this conversation. 
Do you guys clean your toaster or toaster oven? And if so, how often? Because I want to say, don't freak out on me and say I'm gross. I want to say it's been maybe two years since I have cleaned my toaster. I'm the only one that uses it. My husband, um, I'm not going to tell you why because he'd get mad at me, but he doesn't eat toast. Uh, so, yeah. So it doesn't really matter to me if it's like super duper clean. Yes, once a month, Veronica cleans her toaster. Oh, I feel terrible now. I am a pig. Wow. Anybody else do uh, regular cleanings of their toaster? You guys are good. I don't clean much. Only when it catches on fire. Susan, my girl. Wait, hold on. Judy says every couple of months. I do take the tray out. Jackie says, yes, I clean my toaster once a month. Johanna says, I use my toaster rarely. Huh. I barely have time to clean my floor. There's just so much more in life to me than cleaning. Like, if there are cobwebs or dust that I actually see, I will clean it. I do wash my floor all the time. I vacuum all the time. I just don't dust because of my allergies, I think. They're so horrible that it's hard for me to dust. We really should have a housekeeper, but that's never going to happen. Yeah. In a perfect world, I clean the fireplace out all the time. But I am not a good cleaner. Clean the toaster, Renata says, only when I think about it. Well, the reason that I did it was because it sits on a piece of Corian. Do you know what Corian is? When my parents redid their kitchen years ago, they had Corian put in. And my mom saved Corian pieces, like the guy, she made the guy sand down a bunch of pieces for her to use for like a breadboard or whatever. And I realized that it's the perfect surface for kneading my um, bread dough on when I knead it and flap it and fold it and pat it into shape. Um, so I had to clean to get the piece of Corian off. And then the toaster was sitting on top of it, so I had to clean the toaster, yada, 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 yada. I'm gonna put white on this guy's shirt, but he needed a little bit of black. Um, So that's the answer to why I started to clean the toaster. Laura says, I miss my cleaning people. Hubby made me fire them. Oh, dear. That sounds like a bad thing that might have happened. I miss mine, too. Oh, wait, I've never had any. That's not true. My father's new wife, well, she's only new for the last 30 years, I think. She owned a cleaning company, and when I had my kids... She had one of her cleaning crew come over and um, clean my house for like three months. She gave me this gift. And I think she thought I would keep doing it, but I did not. Because I could not afford to do that. I had three kids. Okay, I think I'm just going to do the top part. And then we'll do something else on the bottom part. Yesterday, I lost my phone. Did I already tell you this story? Or it might have been the day before. I was looking for my phone because I use the calculator and the timer for my bread when I bake my bread. 
Um, and I searched for over an hour for my phone. My husband's phone was upstairs with me. And I should have thought about it earlier, but I did not. But when I did realize he had said he took his phone downstairs with Atticus, I realized he took my phone downstairs with Atticus. So I wasted an hour looking for my phone when I should have just realized that he took it. And what's everybody having for Easter? Are you having Easter? We have Easter. I know I'm Jewish, but we do Easter. Uh, I'm married to a Gentile, and so it's just easier to go with his family. Um, and so we're going over to my daughter-in-law's mom and dad's house for Easter. That's every year we go because she uh, lives her life in a wheelchair, and it's just much easier for her to be at her house. So in order to be with the kids on holidays, we go hang with them. So I asked what I could bring, and she said bread. That was the first thing, because she knows I'm baking bread. Um, and then she told me, quiche. She said, you brought it last year. And I went, I did? I don't remember bringing quiche at all. But apparently I did. So I will be bringing quiche to Easter with my ham because I bought it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Laura says, funny thing you say about phones. Mine fell out of my pocket when I was doing the dishes. Yep, I turned on the dishwasher with my phone inside. Oh, God, it was pinging. The kids found it in the washer. Luckily, they heard it. Oh, that's like, you know. That, is that our biggest fear, that it goes through the washing machine or the dish? I would have never thought the dishwasher. Although I did check to see if I put my phone in the refrigerator. And as I was opening the refrigerator the door, I was telling myself, if your phone's in here, you need some serious help. What time is it? Oh, we're going to go late today because I'm just playing. Yeah, I was so scared it was going to be in the fridge. That's usually the dog telling me he wants to go out, but he's not getting up. Do you want to go out, Charlie? I got to go put the dog out. Doodle on your own. I'll be right back. Let's go outside. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want him to go out. Okay, fine, be that way, dog. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? I missed you. I like putting these little flowers in these thingies, whatever they are. <sighs> Doodles are no easy feat. They take a long time. But if you want to make good S's, these little curly cues are a great way to practice. Oh. 
Okay. The dishwasher for your phone to fall into is way worse than the fridge. Yesterday I or last night, you know, in the middle of the night is when I bake my make my starter and I put it in the oven and wrapped it um in towels because it's supposed to be in a warm house, but we didn't have the heater or a fire going. So it actually did really good in the oven. It was uh, the warmest place I could think of in the house yesterday. But I kept thinking, don't turn the oven on in the morning with the starter in there. You'll be sorry. But I remembered. That looks funny right in here. It's funny how you get to one little spot and like, what did I do wrong? I never know how to finish these little things. You just have to figure it out. Got one more to do right here. Okay. I think we're pretty good now. This one needs a little flower inside. Okay, we're gonna do some pencil work. Down here. This is what I do when I'm almost done with something and running out of time. Just grab a pencil or a pen and do some spirally things. But I want my page finished. Can't be unfinished for you guys. Has to be finished. And I mean, the watercolor is pretty, but the detail is what it's all about. Right? We learned that yesterday, that the devil is in the details. Oh, brand new white pen makes all the difference. I love it. This purple page is really pretty. Maybe we should do a month of colors. Are there enough colors to do a month? I think so. Even though there may be different shades of the same color, it would be fun to do a whole month of colors. I think. Maybe I'll change somebody's prompts and do my own. Color month. It would be fun. Trying to decide if this girl's fairy wings needs glitter. I mean, I've been using a lot of glitter. I'll do this light blue first. And then decide if we're going to put glitter on. Charlie, you've got to sit down. You would not go out, so you are in for the duration. 
I need some colorful cheeks. She has cheeks. He's too dark. Okay. Looks like my large. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, purple sparkles. How could I forget the sparkle pop penness? What's Tuesday? Tuesday is the voice I can watch because I've recorded it. And American Idol I can watch because I recorded it the other day. Charlie, do not poop in this house. I will get mad. You don't want to see me mad. Man, I love this purple page. I hope you guys did a purple page because it was fun. You guys, I could so be done because I should be done, but but I just want to keep going because it's so fun to just doodle, just random doodle. Makes my life happy. Told you I was going to add white to this guy's shirt. I just think that the sparkle pop and the white together are just super fantabulous. They just make every page finished. You know, Pentel has a new pen I'm trying to win um, because I don't think I'm going to buy it, but it's a Jelly Belly scented pen for Easter. Um, and they're doing a giveaway in it right now on Instagram. Um, I think today's the last day. I can't remember. Anyway. It's just a gel pen, so, and I'm not a fan of gel pens, although these are gel pens and they work. They have not faulted me yet. All right, I think we're done. It's time for breakfast, Lindsay. You have earned it. Put my pencils away. So what's tomorrow? Let's look and see what tomorrow might bring us. So, tomorrow is Scribble Day. Oh my gosh. I love Scribble lettering. So excited. So tomorrow we get to do scribbling. And you know what? Maybe we'll use these. Maybe we'll use these. Let's see. I'm gonna open the book to that other page that I keep forgetting. These would be so funny, wouldn't they? The bottoms of the bunnies. There's one more, right? Bunny bottoms. Bottoms up. I think we might have to do that tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so I'll take a picture of this page. Did you guys all get to see it? When I am an old woman, I shall wear purple. And all of these girls are wearing purple. And it's purple with purple and purple. With a little bit of purple thrown in for the purpleness of it all. All right, kids. I love you. I have two loaves of bread to bake. 
lots of work to do and yep i'm out of here have a great day um please share your purpleness with us and i'll talk to you later oh look i could put my bunny fingernail down with the purple bunny i don't think you can see it there's too much glare can you see it i don't know all right i'm going i love you guys have a great day bye